Hello, welcome to Project Amos, and I am your host, Luis. Today, we will be looking at the San Diego Comic Con Jurassic World Legacy John Hammond figure. This figure is available in other places online, such as Entertainment Earth. And if you're into this line, I suggest you get it now. I was looking at a 2016 SDCC Funko Golden Girls action figure set to give to my mother a couple of years ago, and they are impossible to get. Now I don't imagine that John Hammond will be like this, but I do have a bit of a trauma regarding SDCC collectibles. Now, I don't usually pay much attention to the packaging, but in this case it's somewhat special. John comes in this Jurassic Park box, in which the gates can be opened in order to reveal the figure inside, but once one removes the tape, it becomes a regular whoop, kind of legacy style of package. John Hammond is a creator, innovator, and a loving grandfather who has high hopes for his theme park off the coast of Costa Rica. However, on Isla Nublar, the attractions sometimes sleep the visitors. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> I love how they included that thing. Whoa. And here's the back of the package. Jurassic Park. So I'll put those aside. Let's just set up the scene again. Real quick. There we go. Now as you can see, John, just like other of Mattel's human figures is three and three four inches tall. Has the same articulation on the um, knees, hips, and elbows, and head. Now the glasses are removable, but I'm not going to remove them to to an incident I had with Ian as I was setting this thing up. I essentially lost his glasses in my. Uh, Jurassic Park upstairs, and uh, I can't find them, so I had to buy another one. Luckily, they're still available. So anyways, this video is significant because we've been waiting for our John Hammond figure for 26 years now. And we finally got one, but I would say that it's a little too late, because two years ago, the uh, wonderful Benjamin Asselin made a resin figure in the scale of the older Kenner figures which I have right here. Now this figure needs no introduction, no review, except for the fact that it's perfect. It's fragile, but perfect. Well, now, I don't believe they're making it anymore, but they are working on a Mr. DNA hatchling for it. So for a non-official, it's pretty good. But that's not what we're here to discuss. So, on to the next point. John comes with his cane, which has a mosquito imprint on the surface. It's kind of hard to see, but maybe you can see it. It's there. Now, as for his face, it kind of looks like that one stock photography grandfather. You know, you know which one I'm talking about. So the face sculpt isn't the best. But it also kind of reminds me of a bearded version of the, uh, the uh, John Hammond in the concept art book. So that's kind of metaphysical in a way. And I mean, this is kind of what Cameron would have done had they decided to make a John Hammond figure back in the 90s. We all know why that didn't happen. Now... John comes with this uh, hatchery pedestal with a baby raptor, so that's awesome that they included that. So one can recreate the whole push, push, push scene. Only for Ian to be like, uh, yeah, uh, everything that you're doing here is impossible and um, life, um, life finds a way. And uh, 
And uh, there it is. 26 years later, and we finally have an official John Hammond figure. Which brings me to my next and final point. Later this year, Mattel will release the enormous Brachiosaurus, a dinosaur that we have also been waiting for at least 26 years. We have the Jeeps, we have Grant, we have Ellie and Ian, and we also have Muldoon. So if Mattel is watching this video, please, we need the entire cast for Jurassic Park. We need JP Worker so they can drive the Jeeps, a Gennaro, Lex, and Tim, Ray Arnold, Dr. Wu past and present, and Dennis Nedry. Since we now live in the three point, uh, the three quarters universe, maybe they could release like a six pack of figures. Instead of numerous repaints and rehashes of Owen, which by the way is now a video by Collect Jurassic touching upon the millions of Owens and uh, Claire's being so difficult to find. Just please give us full cast members and maybe release them as exclusives so we can like, you know, we can finally do our little dioramas that we've been wanting to make forever and it would be awesome. And we would finally like get, get Lex. I'm sure that would put a smile on Ariana Richards' face. So don't get me wrong, Mattel has been super generous to the fandom. We need more humans in this scale. My wish is for the entire Jurassic Park one cast. And the, the entire Jurassic World cast, you know, the first Jurassic World. Jurassic Park 3 we don't really need since we already have all the main characters in this scale. Except for Udesky, Nash, and Cooper. And I'll be making a video on this subject at a later date. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. And as always, please support us by checking out both of my stores on the links below and giving the Minnesota Emporium a like on Facebook. Also link below. Also, the next video is going to be rather different. I can only give you the following hints. Popular video game figures that are kind of compatible with 